We have a visitor this episode. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Skate with Tess. I am Tess. Uh, I thought we'd have a little bit of a gear talk, what's in my bag, conversation situation. It is a cur currently a very blustery day in Los Angeles, so you may hear my, because I have this big sliding door here, um, you may hear the glass rattle. Nobody's at the door, but the wind is. And also we have a little visitor, Jasper the Rabbit. She is here. And she is chewing on everything. Any bunny moms out there? Because you know that bunny life. Like I said, my name is Tess Janos. I have been skating since I was five. So I've been skating for 25 years. I got my first pair of skates uh, for my parents. They got them at Goodwill. And I'm from Nashville, so we got them in the Goodwill of Nashville. Anyway, we lived in this house up on the hill and like the mountains in Tennessee. And uh, I, that's where I got my first pair of skates. And I remember being in that house, skating around the kitchen, round and round and round and round. Uh, every single birthday party was a roller skating birthday party. And then when I hit 19, right out of high school, I started playing roller derby with the Angel City Derby Girls under the skater named Tyra Shanks, or Shanks for short. And I played for four seasons. Then I graduated college and started working. You know what happens. But I've never stopped skating. And one of my favorite things to do um, when I played derby, I was the new recruits instructor. And I loved watching new girls just come in and they were like, you know, either they were really determined or they were kind of nervous and they didn't know if they could do it. And it's just fun to like watch somebody blossom and progress and being an amazing skater, realizing that they're magical and all these wonderful things. Um, so I love teaching. Basically, uh, so you know what my skating background is. So I know a little bit about it and I love it. And I hope that comes across in my videos. I have a lot of love for it. And uh, so yeah, let's get to it. So I have a skating bag. I've had this skating bag since my derby days. We were often sponsored by um, um, helmets, helmets, um, just like gear companies. We get a lot of free wheels, a lot of free gear. Um, but I got my bag from Radar Wheels because we were sponsored by Radar Wheels. This is my skater bag. It's a rolly bag. Uh, it's awesome. I love it. It's huge. I don't know if they still have these, but they're awesome. Okay, so first thing I'm going to pull out here is I have got my knee pads. These are the 187 Killer Pads. And uh, these are like derby grade pads, but even if you don't play derby and you like to skate on the street, these will save your life. I know that there are awesome like gear places where you can get a pack for like the wrist, elbow, and knees, and then it's like um it's like a lower price. And I'd say start there, start there. But if you are really serious about you know skating or you're just really loving it and you want to go out in the streets or you want to do bigger hills or something, these look. There's like, like an inch of space, or gosh, a little bit more than uh, an inch, right? That's what you want, because you're gonna fall on the ground pretty hard. Look at that. Woo-wee, those have seen some days. Next, we have the 187 Killer Pads Elbow Pads. These are brand new. I think I got them like in last summer. Um, basically brand new, like, they're like hardly even scratched. I don't really follow my elbows because um, it's just muscle memory. I don't follow my elbows or I try not to. I, there is one video, if I could find it, I'll insert it here where I follow my elbow. Yeah, that hurt. Um, I was wearing an elbow pad that day. <laughs> Whoops, always wear your pads. And the next thing I have are wrist guards. They are my, of course, 187 Killer Pads wrist guards. I love 187s. I trust them. Um, they know how to, to protect a derby skater. I haven't skated derby since 2014, but from the, the roller derby skaters that I still follow, they're still wearing 187 Killer Pads, if I'm not mistaken. And all of these things I'm gonna link down below using Wicked Skatewear. Wicked Skatewear is 
Um, it was started by a roller derby skater. Um, it's owned by someone who used to be a skater. She may still be, but I think she had kiddos. Um, and then she stopped. But anyway, um, and then it's also run by, I used to work for them, uh, work for them for like a couple months during the summer. I could just work in the shop. They're awesome. They, they just, I just love Wicked Skateware. This is not, this is not sponsored by them. But I love them. Now let's get to the skates. These are my derby skates. Oh, I call them derby skates because they have the low ankle. I've never, I've never, I haven't skated with the high roller skates since I was a kid. Or a high ankle, um, skate, you know, since I was a kid. I really do want to get moxies because I feel like I want to protect my um, ankles. The reason why they didn't really want us to do like high boot roller skates for derby is because it's very limiting because when you when you play derby you're very much like leaning over and it's just too restrictive. You may actually get injured using a, um, a high boot. So, but I think for like just leisurely skate and stuff you can get a you can get a high boot or I, I like I do like the lower I could do I feel like um, more flexible or I might be more flexible. I don't know we'll see one day I'm gonna get a Mox moxie skates and um, I'll show you guys how I pick out my skates what I look for in skates my plates and my wheels and all that but I will do like a I'll, I'll let you know I'll let you know these are old these are old these are probably a decade old not gonna lie so these are Rydell skates I love Rydell I painted this last summer because um, they were white before. I don't know. I just wanted something different. Uh, love right now. These are waxed laces. People. People. Waxed laces. I'm telling you. You you have to. It, it They don't break. I haven't bought new laces in years. So wax laces, these, this uh, part right here, this is called a toe dip. So they literally like dip it in this black stuff. Um, and, and you don't need toe guards. I haven't needed a toe guard in a very, very long time. I had the toe guards where it goes from, from the toe stop to the, to here. You've seen them. They kind of like cover over, cover over. And you use them a lot. Cause like, look at that. Look, that's 10 years right there. Woohoo! That's a lot. You, these get tore up. Think about it if it's just a piece of leather here and not this dip. You go through toe stops like nobody's business. So if you can get a toe dip and you're and you're you like a little the little black as like a design up here, then go for it. Do it. Freaking do it. I highly recommend. Highly recommend. Um, I'm probably not gonna dip my moxies though. I'm not gonna lie. So these are called plates. Okay. These are plates. Right now I have the Revenge plate. It's one of my favorite plates. It's very light. If you're starting out, you can have a plastic nylon plate. That's usually what like a beginner boot has. I felt like I had more flexibility and maneuverability when I finally got a, um, a plate plate, a metal plate. I don't think they have the Revenge anymore, but Revenge is awesome. Whatever was spawn of the Revenge plate is probably also amazing. I like the lightweight stuff. Okay, um, I'm not going to go over too many things except for two more things. The toe stops and the wheels. These wheels are my outside wheels. They're very gummy. Um, and we'll go over like wheels. These are 78 thickness, which um, the lower you go, the gummier they are. And the higher you go, the harder that they are. Usually you want to use harder wheels for a harder surface. In um, sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. You want to use harder wheels for an inside surface. Those are inside wheels because they have the grooves in them and they're not as gummy. And so these are, I call them, my, like if they're gummy ones, they're outdoor wheels because they absorb shock. We'll, we'll have a wheel video one day and I'll buy wheels with it. I'll show you. Then we've got our toe stops here. These are gumballs. They're $20. I know that because I have been, I love gumball toe stops. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, I, I swear by them. They're awesome. They go down kind of quickly. They're like erasers. They're a little bit harder than erasers, but they're amazing and they feel good and they feel like they got your back. They're not too hard, which is important. Okay, so that's a skate. I do also have some Dr. Scholl's insoles for my skates because they are so old um, and they're just, they're getting a little, they're kind of hurting my feet. They're starting to hurt my feet. Okay, and now I've got my skate tool. This is Powerdyne skate tool. And again, everything is going to be linked below um, for you to get. But this tool is great. It's got, you can get the, the, I think this is the nuts that are inside of your wheel. And then this is for your toe stop. Let me just make sure. 
these actually, these are, you can, um, some skates do require this as a toe stop and might be trucks too. I don't know. I've only really used it for the, um, for the nuts here, but the other one is, a, I don't, I don't know. I just use this one. Okay. I'm not like a skate tech. I'm just like, I know what I like. I don't know what works for me. And that's that. Okay. Now we have the S1 helmet. These are sponsored. I think it, if you hit really, really hard on a helmet, or specifically this helmet, I guess, if you hit really hard on your head, you're supposed to get a new helmet. I would say that that's the rule for all helmets, is if you have one really good hard hit on your head, like it, you feel it rattle you, and it's, you know, the helmet has done its duty. It's like the bee who has the one sting, right, or whatever. Um, it's done after that. Anyway, this is not falling on the floor. This is just me just, like, leaving it on the floor. <laughs> that is my skate bag that is a little and that's a little bit of gear talk too I think I think it's good to have those conversations and I definitely am uh, making this a playlist part of gear talk gear chat so on this little playlist here will probably not probably we'll I'll teach you how to change your wheels how to clean your bearings um, how to change your toe stops stuff like that um, like I said, I'm not a gearhead when it comes to skiing, so I may need to bring in someone and be like, how do I tighten my trucks? You know, I don't know. Um, that's just not my thing. My thing is skiing. And that's all I gotta say about that. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Talk to you later. Bye. I don't know what my outro is yet. Later, dudes. Hang loose. Rock and roll. Bye.